Hi guys, good afternoon everyone. How are you all? Yes. Good afternoon guys. How are you all? I hope everyone is doing well. Okay. Yes, good afternoon everyone. So what we'll be doing today is guys we'll be continuing with the colligative properties uh, all of you must be knowing that in our last session we discussed about two colligative properties out of four colligative and what you have to know like the remaining two colligative properties they are going to be even easier to understand but yeah like we'll be discussing many of the numericals related to it also we'll be discussing if you get a uh, different type of questions related to these properties how you have to approach them how you have to tackle them how you have to get a good answer like you you have to how you have to get a correct answer for it so that and all things we are going to discuss in today's session but before starting with the topic i know all those learners who are new at the platform they must be uh, curious to know about their educator so yes i am manisha rani your chemistry educator at an academy and i have experience of online and offline teaching at reputed institutes for more than 5 years i have done my masters from nit varangal and bachelors from delhi university i have cracked iit jam csir net and gate and i have given best ranks in yes neat and j mains i have given over 500 plus selections in neat and aims and around 800 plus selections in j mains and advanced so Yes guys I am a plus verified tutor and this is what all about me and uh, let's just talk about uh, something regarding the class notes and the material from where you are going to get so whatever we will be discussing in the class what you have to know yes the pdf notes and all the material regarding that topic where you can get you can get on our telegram channel and for that like to join that channel what you have to do there is a code on the screen which is uh, given which you can see here the green uh, box which is having the code so you can use you can scan this code and join the telegram channel or you can use the link here for joining our telegram channel and you will be getting all the information here regarding the classes all the class notes all the material all the soft copies like everything you will be getting here now talking about the special classes yes this is very important for all of you to know because this classes are there on our unacademy platform and in these classes what you can do is you can learn from your favorite educator for free absolutely free you can engage with the educators via polls you can clear your doubts in the live special classes yes and for the special classes what you have to know you can visit the link in the description and by that you can yes you will be able to join the special classes if i talk about what is the schedule for special class guys because many of the students they were saying that they are facing difficulty in organic chemistry they didn't uh, uh, get the complete understanding in 11th standard and that's why they are feeling little scared for the 12th standard organic chemistry so for that only we have come up with the special classes in which i'll be discussing first the general organic chemistry and general organic chemistry will be learning the topics like we are not going to discuss the whole general organic chemistry because that is a very vast topic but we'll be discussing about all those topics which are going to be helpful for the understanding of class 12th organic chemistry so for that we have one of the special class which is on 12th july iupac nomenclature part 2 will be doing those part 1 already we have done which if you will be checking the special classes you can see the previous classes and in that you will be able to see then we'll be talking about on 14 july inductive effect and resonance which is uh, electron displacement uh, effects and uh, hyperconjugation and aromaticity will be discussing on 19 july so all of you should make sure that you are joining these sessions and yes getting the benefit of it very good now let's just talk about the next thing what are the features right what are the good points about our an academy subscription so if you take our an academy subscription so what you can understand is you will be having n number of benefits new uh, benefits you have the first one is you can learn live from the comfort of your home you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to waste time you don't have to travel one place to another what you can do you can just sit at your home right uh, on your device you can learn yes and you have you'll be having unlimited access to all courses so there is no interruption and you will be learning from the top educators of india on one platform you don't have to keep on switching it and yes 
regular doubt clearing and answer writing sessions will be there you will be you will be doing the exhaustive coverage of syllabus there will be a complete mentorship and guidance throughout yes we'll be providing you the study materials in the pdf format there will be practice tests live test series and batch courses so everything is going to be provided yes very good so one of the very important thing which is here if you guys can figure out is a live test series because we are able to learn the concepts grasp the concept to some extent like generally but how do we, how will get to know that how much we have understood actually right so how will be getting to know and how teachers will get to know that how much you have understood that you can do with the help of live test series you will also get to know that how much uh, uh, in depth knowledge you have about the topic and yes if you'll be writing it and what what teachers can do teachers can help you better yes and you can also analyze yourself better so very good what you have to do guys if you will be enrolling for an unacademy subscription you will be getting all these benefits which is actually amazing okay so let me tell you you have a unacademy plus subscription uh, pricing list in front of you so this is actually very very affordable if you will go through the prices over here yes talking about like 48 months you you have to pro like you if you are taking a course like enrollment for it you have to just pay 958 rupees per month and then like that you can check 36 months 24 months 18 months for 18 months you have to pay like 1200 per uh, month so you can relate that like it's very very good yes and not only this like already the prices are so affordable but if you'll be using my code which is mris10 you will be getting instant 10% discount guys yes so you should not wait to enroll for the classes because you'll be getting all the benefits in one pack now let me tell you the ongoing batch so on july 6th only we have a batch started for class 12 chemistry and there like like for class 12 chemistry i'm taking the classes for biology lakshya gera is take gera sir is taking for physics mohana thara ma'am is taking and for maths rahul mohanani sir is taking the classes yes talking about if you have any siblings in the class 11 so even class 11 batch also got started from july 6 same teachers are taking the classes and the classes are going to be really really amazing because you'll be getting the all idea about each and every topic okay very good so if you have any queries or anything you can uh, ask to me and what we'll be doing now we'll be starting with our topic so in the previous session what we discussed let me just quickly recall that we discussed about what are colligative properties yes what are colligative properties and so there are four yes can you guys uh, quickly recall which and all properties are there tell me everyone yes so relative lowering of vapor pressure rl rlvp we have already done it then elevation boiling point that also we did in the last class yes eibp if you guys remember we have written the short form for it yes elevation in boiling point now uh, what we have to do next is depression and freezing point will be doing today so elevation in boiling point also done in the previous class itself now what we'll be doing today guys will be talking about the next two colligative properties which are those yeah we'll be talking about depression in freezing point yes and we'll be also discussing about so we haven't done till now but we'll be doing it today right so depression in freezing point and uh, osmotic pressure op yes so these will be doing today and these are already done in the previous class so let's just uh, start with the third colligative property guys what say so let's just start with it so the third one that we are going to learn and we are going to start the topic with is depression in freezing point yes so what is depression in freezing point guys are you getting any information from the name yes tell me everyone what is depression in freezing point so talking about the depression in freezing point guys what we can relate here is very simple we discussed even in the previous colligative properties also here what we do always like when we add when a non volatile solute when a non volatile solute is added solute is added to a volatile solvent is added 
to a volatile solvent then what happens guys volatile solvent then its freezing point decreases then its freezing point decreases correct guys so what you have to know it's very simple we discussed in the previous colligative properties also that is same like when a non volatile solute is added to a volatile solvent then its vapor pressure decreases boiling point increases and freezing point also what happens to it guys decreases so this is what we can relate okay so if you remember for the elevation in boiling point what we said yes the delta tv is directly proportional to molality yes so here also you can relate that here delta so depression freezing point will be denoting with delta tf how much change is going to happen we can find it out so delta tf will be equal to like first we'll discuss that delta tf is directly proportional to molality what do you have to know delta tf is directly proportional to molality now what is delta tf and how you can find it out so delta tf is going to be little different than what we have discussed for the elevation and boiling point so here you'll be taking first the freezing point of solvent minus freezing point of solution this is how you can find it out the delta tf okay guys so delta tf how you can find it out delta tf is equal to tf not minus tf and this is what we can understand that is freezing point of solvent minus freezing point of solution this is what we can relate okay guys very good so you know that there is a proportionality sign over here so delta tf will be like directly proportional to m so you won't be able to solve any questions here so what you have to do exactly to start solving the questions yes you have to write what you have to write kf dot m you will be introducing a constant yes remember like how we did in the elevation boiling point if you are not able to recall if facing any difficulty to just relate with the previous one just go and check out the previous video that uh, like of the class yes like previous uh, session so you'll be able to easily relate with it and you can easily understand so delta tf is equal to kf dot m now what is kf yes can anyone tell tell me everyone so you can call it as molal ya depression constant or it is also called as cryoscopic constant yes everyone what it is called as it is called as cryoscopic now how you can remember it yes like i told you know elevation boiling point e for elevation e for ebullioscopic so for elevation and boiling point the name for kd was ebullioscopic constant and molal elevation constant while for kf what is the name for it yes molal depression constant or cryoscopic constant this is what you can relate to very simple so this we have understood so if you will be taking out the formula for it so delta tf will be equal to kf dot m and kf value you can put and molality you know everyone yes what is the formula for it wb by mb in 2000 divided by yes mass of solvent in grams So this is the complete formula for delta t s guys if you want to calculate yes because molality i have just uh, elaborated the complete formula if you want to calculate what and all things you require i hope everyone knows it if you still feel any difficulty at any point of time yes you can let me know in the session or suppose if you are watching this video later you can put a question in your in the comment section so if you have any question i'll be solving the query so no need to worry yes So delta T F is equal to K F dot W B by M B is in two thousand divided by mass of solvent in grams. <clears throat> how you can find out the K F guys? Yes. How you can find out the K F? So K F is experimental value. How you find it out is very simple. R into M A mass of solvent into T F not square, which is freezing point of solvent square divided by thousand into enthalpy of fusion. So if you remember. something like that the formula was even there for kb also so how you detect like you it's not very important for you to calculate here but still you should have a information so that if you have to any time like if you get some twisted question you will be able to solve it so kf is equal to r r is universal gas constant yes what are these terms r is universal gas constant 
everyone knows what are the values for it yes universal gas constant what is ma molar mass of solvent yes what is tf not yes molar uh, what is that freezing point of solvent yes freezing point of solvent and uh, delta h fusion yes what is the enthalpy of fusion correct guys very simple so that's what you can relate so kf is equal to r into ma into tf not square divided by 1000 into delta h fusion which you can find it out but the main formula is this which is very very important yeah i hope everyone is able to relate with it and this was regarding your depression in freezing point so what do you have to know when you add a non volatile solute to a volatile solvent then what is observed is its freezing point decreases clear with it everyone anyone is having any doubt anyone wants to ask anything guys tell me quickly yeah tell me guys anyone is having any doubt anyone wants to ask anything so here the one and only thing which you have to keep in your mind and uh, which you have to be little careful is here the delta tf is a uh, little different than how it was there delta tb like if i'll compare here yes delta tb was yes tb solution minus tb not solvent this was there but delta tf is opposite t solvent right minus the not solution that is for the freezing point i hope everyone is able to relate yes tell me guys quickly everyone is able to relate that what is the difference rest of the things the formula is same only thing is what you take you take the formula like if i say here you take delta tb is equal to kb dot m but here for the freezing point what we take delta tf is equal to kf dot m that's the only thing like but here delta tb and delta tf that with the way you get is different again i'm telling what is that because many of the student they do the mistake over here Sol solution minus yes this is going to be tb of solution minus solvent tb of solution minus solvent okay that's what we can relate but here it is going to be tf not minus tf so this is for solvent minus solution i hope everyone is able to relate with it guys anyone is having any doubt anyone wants to ask anything let me know guys yes okay so let's just start with the next colligative property and then we'll be solving the questions together related to this what say so question will be discussing but before that i want you guys uh, to quickly yes uh, think about if you are able to or relate completely the elevation boiling point and depression and freezing point on yes or no tell me guys and then we'll be discussing few of the questions yes what say let's just discuss one two questions yeah okay let's just discuss it one question only which is again very important and many times asked yes and uh, then we'll be discussing about the osmotic pressure what say guys yes tell me everyone okay so let's just do one question how many of you want to uh, actually do the question first and then do the osmotic pressure tell me yes if you want to do the question first and then you want to do the osmotic pressure the next colligative property tell me guys yeah okay let's just do that so the question is very simple guys yeah 60 2 gram of 62 gram of ethylene glycol or we can do like the same well like we can do this also like 45 gram of ethylene glycol any value you can take actually 45 gram of ethylene glycol 
C2H5 OH. Yes, is it a thylene glycol? What say? No, that is ethanol. What is ethylene glycol? Yeah. So 45 gram of. So till the time I'm writing the question, you guys have to tell me what is the formula of ethylene glycol. Let's just see who and all will be telling it. So have to just tell me the molecular uh, uh, formula of ethylene glycol. Okay. So 45 gram of ethylene glycol is mixed with. Is mixed with 600 gram of water. 600 gram of water. Calculate A. A. The depression in freezing point or the freezing point depression. Depression in freezing point. And B. What do you have to calculate guys? Yes. Tell me. You have to calculate the freezing point of solution. So can you guys think of it how you can solve it tell me guys very simple yeah tell me how you'll be doing it okay it's very simple so they have given you 45 gram of ethylene glycol so what you can relate is that this is your solute this is your solvent okay mass is given now can you calculate because what you require is the formula delta tf first is equal to kb dot wb by mv in 2000 divided by mass of solvent in yes mass of solvent in gram okay guys so this is what you have to do now sorry here kb will be there or kf will be there very good so everyone should answer no hi creator memories how are you so what do you have to know yes everyone what we are discussing we are discussing a numerical regarding the depression freezing point and uh, let's just just see who and all will be able to answer yes creator do you know how to solve this question so we got to know see how we analyze this question because we are taking a small amount here for the ethylene glycol so this is my solute yes then what is my solvent guys yes tell me this is my solute 45 gram of ethylene glycol so i asked a very simple question over here that what is the formula of yeah what is the formula of ethylene glycol tell me what is the formula of ethylene glycol can anyone tell what is the formula of ethylene glycol chemical formula so it's very simple the formula is C2H6O2. This is the formula. C2H6O2. If you want, you can you make the structure CH2CH2OH and OH. So this is the structure for ethylene glycol, which you can also name it as ethane 1, 2, diol. Okay, guys. So what you can relate away here that this mass is given to me, which is my B, like the solute. WB is given to me. What is that? Can anyone tell? Yes, 45 gram. Can I calculate what is the MB molecular weight? So 12 into 2 plus 1 into 6 plus 16 into 2, 32. So how much value is going to be? Tell me. 32 plus 24 plus 6. 30 plus this. So you will get 62 gram per mole. Mass of solvent it is given to me. Yeah. Do the mass of solvent it is given to me. WA in the question tell me guys yeah so WA is given to me which is nothing but 600 grams which you can also consider as 0 0.60 kg so let's just discuss quickly how we'll be doing that so I can put the values like uh, but the only thing is what is the value of KF so KF value is given to you for water like you have to know KF is equal to 1.86 kg per mole. So this is given in the question. KF is given. Now can I solve it quickly? Yes, delta TF is equal to 45 divided by 62 into 1000 divided by 600. Yes, 1000 divided by 600. How much I'll get? Tell me guys, 45 divided by 62, how much you're going to get? Yeah.
tell me guys how much value you will get everyone has to answer so 45 divided by 62 you can just quickly solve that and you will get 0.725 which you can consider 0.73 Now zero point seven three, you can get very simple thousand divided by six hundred. How much you are going to get? One point six seven. So if you will multiply this with point seven three, how much value you will be getting? You will be getting one point two one yes mole per. Yeah, what you will get, guys? You will get. Tell me one point two. So delta T F. This is there. You have just only written molality, no? Do you have written the KF value? No, you have to also multiply the KF here. No, what is that? One point eight six. So into one point eight six. So into one point eight six. If you will do, what you will get? Yes, you will get very simple. You will get two point two seven. And that two, what you will get? You will get delta TF. I hope everyone is able to relate. Tell me, guys. Hi, creator memory. Can you hear me? Okay. So what you can relate here is very simple. That the delta T F value you have got. So once you got the delta T F value, what you have to know is very simple. Yeah, you have to know uh like how to yes how to calculate the solution because the sec second part what they have asked they have asked the second part is what tell me guys here yeah. they have asked to calculate the freezing point of solution the next part right so second part what you can relate once you got the delta tf you can easily calculate it so that will be tf not minus tf so this i have to calculate so can i calculate it guys yes So the freezing point of water is zero degrees Celsius. No, so can I use that value in the Kelvin? Tell me, guys. See, delta T F is equal to two point two seven. So can I calculate that in the Kelvin? Yeah, delta T F because obviously that's there in the Kelvin only. Whatever value you are going to get, you are going to get in Kelvin only because here or you have to know that Kelvin is our SI unit, and when I'll be using it, I'll be getting in that itself. So what you have to know is very simple, guys. Yes. you have to just yeah you have to just simply utilize it and you can get it so 2.27 kelvin you have got the value which is equal to 273 uh like kelvin 273 kelvin mm, yes minus ts so ts you will take this side to 273 minus 2.2 kelvin you will get what you will get 2 tell me guys yes 270.95 kelvin is the freezing point of solution i hope everyone is able to relate here yeah. tell me guys yes so this was related to your depression and freezing point you can calculate more of the questions also related to it but let's just talk about the next here yeah, the next colligative property that we have to know which is nothing but yes osmotic pressure so more questions you have to try and we discussed one more question in the previous class if anyone is having any doubts in that question or you were not able to get the answer just let me know guys yes if you want let me know how i'll get to know that you have a doubt tell me guys yes any doubt anyone so i cannot see anyone is having any doubt so let's just go to the last property which is osmotic pressure What is osmosis, guys? Yes, everyone can relate with it. What is osmosis? Yeah, and in terms of chemistry, if you will think it is little different. What is that? Let's just discuss. So osmosis is nothing but it is a movement of osmosis. Is what, guys? The movement of solvent molecules. The movement of solvent molecules. yes across a semi permeable membrane movement of solid solvent molecules across a semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane yes across a semi permeable membrane from a region of 
from a region of their higher concentration to lower concentration from a region of their higher concentration to lower concentration characterized to lower concentration this is called as your osmosis because we are talking about the solvent molecule and this is for the chemistry specifically you can relate like how it can be little different in the biology but it's say okay so this is what you are doing in the osmosis so what you can relate is that very simple suppose you are having a compartment and in which what you are having is one side you are having the solvent and another side you are having the solution okay so you have having a solvent here you are having a solution this side yes and what you are having in the middle so middle i can relate you have a semi permeable membrane this is what guys this is spm which is semi permeable membrane okay now what will happen so when solvent molecules will move from here to here this is called as osmosis but what you have to do if you want to stop the flow so you have to apply some pressure over here in the solution side which we call it as pi right which is nothing but osmotic pressure and how we can define it guys very simple so what is osmotic pressure yeah tell me everyone what is osmotic pressure so we can define it very simple so osmotic pressure is nothing but the pressure the extra pressure applied on the solution side to just stop the flow of solvent molecules into the solution by spm is called osmotic pressure correct guys so how we can write it osmotic pressure very simple the extra pressure the extra pressure yes applied on the solution side applied on the solution side just to yes guys just to stop the flow of solvent molecules flow of solvent molecules yes guys into the solution by spm is called osmotic pressure is called osmotic pressure spm is semi permeable membrane now what and all things you can use as spm you can use cellulose yes you can use animal bladder cellophane many other things you can use that okay so what you can do this what you can understand is you can use spm as like any of the substances which is not going to allow fully the movement of solvent molecules but it is going to allow the partial movement yes that is the work of your semi permeable membrane now if i talk about guys for the osmotic pressure which is pi what we found that it is directly proportional to concentration and it is also directly proportional to temperature this is what it is found so by combining one and two equation yes can i get equation 1 and 2 can i get guys pi is directly proportional to ct can i get it pi is directly proportional to ct and if i'll be removing this proportionality sign the yes the what the constant yes that we get is r very simple the constant that we get is r which is universal gas constant again so r is nothing but universal gas constant which we used in the previous formula also so i asked that time as well tell me guys what and all are the values of universal gas constant yeah so r is equal to 8.314 if you are talking in terms of joule so joule per kelvin per mole yes r is equal to 0.082 if you are talking in liter atm per mole per kelvin if you are talking about in bar so it will be 0.083 liter bar per mole per kelvin like that so you can use the values yes so pi is equal to r ct this is what i have got the equation till here so but can i little bit uh, modify it yes so pi is equal to we have r ct or crt we can write it so pi instead of c because c is concentration yeah what is this c is concentration t is time 
सी इज कंसनट्रेशन टी इज टाइम एंड वॉट आई कैन रिलेट ये पाई इज इक्वल टू सी आर टी सो पाई विल बी इक्वल टू लाइक कंसनट्रेशन विच आई कैन कंसिडर एज मोलैरिटी विच विल नंबर ऑफ मोल्स डिवाइडेड बाई वॉल्यूम सो दिस इज योर मोलैरिटी सो इंस्टेड ऑफ सी आई विट एन एन बी बाई वी आर टी ओके एन बी इज अ नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सॉल्यूट येस डिवाइडेड बाई वी वॉल्यूम इन लीटर इन टू आर यूनिवर्सल गैस कॉन्सेंट इन टू टेम्परेचर टी ओके गाइज वेरी गुड सो कैन आई कैल कैन आई इलेबरेट सो आई गॉट पाई इज इक्वल टू एन बी बाई वी आर टी सो नंबर ऑफ मोल्स कैन बी रिटर्न डब्ल्यू बी बाई एम बी कैन आई रिटर्न बिट मॉडिफाई वन अगैन सो डब्ल्यू बी बाई एम बी इन टू आर टी बाई वी येस वेरी गुड कैन वी रिलेट दैट और नॉट वेरी गुड so this we can write wb by mb into rt by v and suppose if you have to calculate any of the term other than what are given in the formula so that is like pi is equal to wb by mb like suppose you have to calculate mb so how you will do that wb into rt divided by yes everyone yes creator tell me everyone so wb by yes what you have to do wb by mb here so we have uh, like if we are taking mb on the left hand side so we'll have the pi on the right hand side in the denominator so that i'll be using it so here we have a pi into yes what i can relate v so you can solve it very simple everyone understood this guys yes this is the formula for your yeah this is the formula for your what guys for your very simple thing which we can relate yeah tell me guys for osmotic pressure you can relate this formula and suppose you have to calculate the molar mass of it so you can solve it so what is the speciality in this formula guys here we are using molarity instead of molality so that you can understand other than that most of the things are common and easy now let's just talk about the next thing which what is that reverse osmosis what is that reverse osmosis so reverse osmosis how you can understand so reverse osmosis is nothing but when pressure yes when pressure more than pi so when you apply pressure more than osmotic pressure yes is applied to the solution side is applied to the solution side yes guys then the direction of osmosis is reversed then the direction of osmosis is reversed and that is called as reverse osmosis clear everyone yes very good and you know where it has a major application this reverse osmos osmosis ro must have ro purifiers you must have heard right which is reverse osmosis correct so it has a major application in desalination of it is it has a major application in desalination of yes in desalination of sea water so when you want to remove the salt from sea water what you do guys you can use the reverse osmosis concept okay very good now there is a benefit of uh, osmotic pressure on the biomolecules suppose if you have to any time calculate the molar mass of biomolecules or macromolecules so there is a advantage of osmotic pressure than the other methods can anyone tell what is that advantage yes so your osmotic pressure method is used or it is preferred when if you have to calculate the molar mass of a biomolecule or a macromolecule so what do you think which why it is preferred yes can anyone answer tell me guys so let me tell you that so you should know one thing guys what is that yes so your osmotic pressure method is preferred pressure is yes method is preferred or method is used specifically to yes is used for or like to calculate or for the calculation of so it is used for the calculation of what guys is used for the calculation of for the calculation of what guys yes 
calculation of molar masses of molar masses of macromolecules yes molar masses of macro tell me guys what do you mean by macromolecule yeah everyone can answer macro means big no so big molecules for that you can do you can calculate the molar mass so molar mass of macro molecules yes everyone you can calculate with the help of osmotic pressure so it is used what macro molecules what and all things can come in that polymers proteins biomolecules all of them it comes under macro molecules yes so what you have to know why why we have to consider this because here what you have to know because the calculation is done yes because the calculation is done at room temperature here you don't have to take a high temperature and uh, your macro molecules they are stable at room temperature your bi molecules they are stable at room temperature this is what we can understand so it's very simple osmotic pressure method is used for the calculation of molar mass of macro molecules because here the calculation is done here because here the calculation is done is done yes on the room temperature yes is done on the room temperature or at the room temperature right because at the room temperature means you will be using the temp value here only at the room temperature yeah is done at the room temperature yeah and the biomolecules are stable at room temperature so it becomes easy for you to calculate you won't get any ambiguity or any uh, what we can say that any uh, range value like that you will get a correct value so done at the room temperature biomolecules as biomolecules are stable at room temperature so rt i am writing as a room temperature so what we got the formula guys yes we got the formula final formula that wb into rt divided by pi into v so this is what we can relate regarding the final formula that we have got regarding the osmotic pressure now what you have to know guys on the basis of osmotic pressure there are three types of solution given yes so on the basis of osmotic pressure you can define three types of solution and what are those we'll be discussing that in the next class so on the basis of yes on the basis of osmotic pressure there are three type of solutions now i'll i'll give you a small homework you must have studied that in biology yes so you have to tell me in the next class that what is the meaning of this and in detail we'll be discussing in the next class so on the basis of osmotic pressure there are three types of solution yes there are three types of solution which in all guys one is isotonic solution one is isotonic solutions another what you have to know is your hypotonic solutions isotonic hypotonic and hypertonic solution so what are those we'll be discussing in the next class okay and we'll be also talking about the abnormal molar mass which comes under the reduced syllabus but we didn't get the complete notification so many of the schools they are following the reduced syllabus only but yeah like if you are targeting any competitive exams so what we'll be doing we'll be quickly even doing the vent of factor as well in the next session right so that also we'll be discussing hi aman please ma'am bataiye ma'am reaction isliye bolte hain kyunki usko hum physically fill kar pate hain not physical chemistry okay i did not get the question aman uh, bataiye ma'am reaction isliye bolte hain kyunki hum physically fill kar pate hain not physical chemistry see the reaction and uh, the question which you are asking like physical chemistry first of all physical chemistry is nothing but aman it is a branch of chemistry in which we have a interrelation of physics with the chemistry to understand the concept so mostly we get the numericals over there mostly calculations are there because we use the physical physical reaction okay you are saying um okay like you are saying the physical process oh oh okay okay aman so it's very simple 
you have a two types of processes one is physical process another is chemical process chemical process uh, what you can relate is that a chemical reaction or a physical process or a physical reaction very simple physical reaction is the one in which no new substance is formed while chemical reaction is the one in which new substance is formed like for example if i talk about uh, i'm doing one simple thing like you are having a um, water right water what you are doing is you are having ice and once you are melting it you are getting water itself so there is no new substances forming you are still having the water itself right so this is a physical reaction if i talk about you have a paper you are just cutting that into the pieces yes you are just cutting that into the pieces so it's not like new substance is not formed it's just the pieces are there right of the physical reaction mein hum bahar se fill kar pate hain iske naam mein physical kyu hai बाहर से फिल आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एग्जैक्टली वॉट यूर ट्राइंग टू से अमन दैट बाहर से फिल कर पाते हैं सो फिजिकल रिएक्शन इज लाइक वेरी सिंपल द रिएक्शन इन विच नो न्यू सब्सटेंस इज फॉर्म इट्स नथिंग लाइक यू कैन फिल फ्रॉम आउटसाइड फिल फ्रॉम इन साइड नथिंग वेन नो न्यू सब्सटेंस इज फॉर्म इट्स अ फिजिकल रिएक्शन और अ फिजिकल प्रोसेस और अ फिजिकल फिनोमिना ओके अमन अंडरस्टूड दैट सो फिजिकल रिएक्शन और फिजिकल प्रोसेस फिजिकल फिनोमिना इन विच नो न्यू सब्सटेंस इज फॉर्म right generally they are reversible but some of the reactions physical reaction are seen which are not reversible to like i gave you the example no what we are doing we have a piece of paper and if i'm cutting that into the like pieces like small small pieces i'm just cutting it so it's still a paper it's not changed into something else but if i'm taking a paper and i'm burning it i'm doing the combustion agar mai uska combustion kar raha hu reaction is very simple response to action is reaction aman yes are you getting that response to action so any phenomena in which no substance no new substance is forming and hey there is a response to a action that is reaction very simple okay so good so this is so what we have done today guys yeah so i hope aman i'm able to like answer what you are asking but uh, maybe your question is not clear so if you can ask the question more clearly i guess that will be good so this reaction means response to action any action you are doing if you get a response that is reaction it can be of two types it can be a physical process it can be a chemical process right so physical process when no new substance is formed chemical process when there is a new substance formed to so, iske name mein physical kyu hai okay see it's just very simple thing physically because there will be only a physical changes physical changes as in when the substance so uh, in this process only the shape size color this changes so there is a change in the physical appearance only okay aman there is no chemically change like the substance is not changing okay only the physical properties changes aman that's why you call it as physical process physical properties means what like how a substance looks like the color shape state only these things changes and that's why you name it as physical process okay while when you do the chemical process a chemical reaction that chemical properties changes like the substance nature everything like that it changes like uh, how it is going to behave with the other things so that and all changes and that's why you call it as it's a chemical process yes very good in chemical reaction yeah chemical property changes like suppose if i talk about uh, you have a like simple example right if you have a paper you are burning it you got the ash now now the, on the ash you cannot write it it's completely new the chemical properties has changed it's not white like the color okay is a physical property but other than that like how it is going to react with the other things that's going to change specifically yes how it's going to react with the ink is going to change so you can relate with it very simple so what are all things we have studied today everyone yes we talked about the colligative properties colligative properties we have completed today we talked about the remaining two colligative properties today which and all we discussed about the depression and freezing point yes very good and we discussed about the osmotic pressure um amun the reaction the type of chemical reaction with electron changes we call it as redox reaction okay in chemical reaction you get a new substance so redox reaction is a type of chemical reaction it's not necessary in every chemical reaction that a electron changes it's not necessary right specifically the chemical reactions in which the electrons are changing that we call it as redox reaction and many of the chemical reactions are example of redox reaction okay very good 
so this is what we have done today guys i have given you a very small homework that you have to tell what are isotonic hypotonic and hypotonic solution because you must have studied that in your biology as well okay so let me just tell you some things about our classes yes so regarding that what and all things you can know so we have a upcoming batch like the batch which has already started on july 6 for the class 12 the batch got started okay thank you aman i hope i was able to clear your doubt so what you have to know guys um, for the class 12 from july 6 only your uh, like batch has started in that chemistry i am taking the classes biology is taken by lakshya gera sir physics is taken by mohana thara ma'am and maths is taken by rahul mohanani sir yes and if you have any siblings in the 11th standard you can inform that as well that uh, 11th standard batch also got started in the 6th only whose name is brahmastra and same teachers are taking all the classes in that batch it's also okay so let me introduce you about our community and uh, what is that so in our unacademy platform we have for all learners we have a community in which you doesn't miss like you, you want you are not going to miss any update from a favorite teacher you will be getting all the updates you will be getting session notes and practice material over there and you can share your feedback directly with the educator via polls yes so if anyone is having any doubts yes you can let me know guys so uh, so what you can do guys if you want to enroll for our plus course classes yes today is the time because you will be getting instant 10% discount if you'll be using my code which is mris10 you know that already the an academy prices are very affordable but if you'll be using my code which is mris10 yes you will be getting instant 10% discount yes guys and i told you in the starting of the session that there are so many benefits of an academy plus subscription so use my code mris10 to get the subscription okay and you will be getting instant 10% discount okay very good so for the class notes and all you can join my telegram channel and uh, yes guys so what we'll be doing we'll be meeting in the next session then yeah thank you all of you bye bye thank you guys bye everyone so if anyone is having any doubt you can put uh, that doubt in the comment section and we'll be discussing that yes in the next session or maybe i'll be replying you on the chat okay so thank you everyone bye bye thank you guys bye